would it be fair to say that you wanted to be an actress from a young age, that you were aware of being an actor? I guess I always knew I wanted to be an actor. I always wanted to just, um, I always liked just communicating with people. I was always curious about different sides of life and I wanted to explore them and I wanted to kind of get express them and, and, um, and I loved having somebody respond to it. G. I. A. There, Gia. Did you perform as a kid around the house? I always wondered. I'm, I'm sure. I mean, I live with my mom, my brother. My brother always had me performing. You know, when, when I got older and he went to school, he had me in his videos. He still, you know, is the first person to watch my films, and I call him and see what he thinks. This is a question that I'm really scared to death to ask, but I want to ask it early. Do your looks get in the way when you go in <laughs> to be considered for a role? And I'm. You just, the camera loves you, real life loves you. Can a director see beyond the cheekbones I, and the eyes? I mean, honestly, I don't feel very confident about myself. <laughs> I have a lot of insecurities. Sometimes what I think is beautiful when I see a face and I see things that are almost too perfect, I don't see the life. It actually gets me angry. and an award show with lipstick on and my hair up. That feels very strange. Hey, how you guys doing? I wear black all the time. People think it's because it's so cool and mysterious, and it's just because I'm a big slob and I spill shit. I don't believe you. A lot of times they, they want to make you a movie star and they want you to be an image of you. I don't know who I am, so I'm kind of just uh, oh, in costume. I'm Jane. My name is Evelyn Salt. You're lying. I'm usually attracted to characters that have that passion about something. Hello, ladies. I think that's a, a woman's strength, is how much she loves and how passionate she is. And a lot of people see that as a weakness. Don't! Come on! I think today the strong woman has lost the, you don't need a man, you don't love a man, or you can't cry, or you don't have compassion or kindness. Did you kill my son? And I think your life is very much haunted by you know, your, your work is very private sometimes. It's very hard to have a relationship. Teddy? But I've missed you. And I've missed you. Does it carry over into you, the human being, when you are able to experience on such a wonderful level an acting moment that you want to keep, like, and treasure it? The moments for me acting are, are as far as I'm concerned, they're my life. That's why choosing the roles and choosing the films are so important because the people I was with and the time spent and when you look at somebody, when you have scenes with them, and you know, they're real. Somehow, they're, they're real in their own way. Woman to woman, you said so much without saying anything. Do you feel what I'm feeling or is that part of acting and I'm dumb? I think we did. You spend so much time looking into looking at another person. I mean, he had he looked at me and he looked right in my eyes, and I stood there, and I, it made me cry. And he knew in my life that I had felt certain pains or felt insecure. There's nowhere I'd rather be. I just got fully into it and and loved hanging out as him. Yeah, couldn't be better. You carry a lot of respect. Does anything scare you? Feeling like I was incapable of doing something scares me. It's always fun to do things you've never done. I've worked with the same stunt team for the last 10 years, and they've become my family. And if they say you can go off that bridge, I'll trust them that it's okay. It really scares me, I think, anything happening to my husband or my family. I'm only afraid of something happening to people I love. That's, that's the great fear for everybody. Is this what you thought it was going to be? In this business, I can't believe how critical everybody is of, of everything and how insecure people are, and it's terrible. I've gone through a lot of different things, and I think people have so many opinions about me and, and have judged me or, or think I'm a bad person. Well, I've cleaned up. So you just, you fight, and you show them, and you make some bold choices. And you just keep charging at walls, don't you? You're doing the best you can, and, and it makes you feel like you're, you're not all bad and you haven't missed that much. It gives me something I didn't have before tonight. What's that? Hope. I think you can do anything you set your mind to. It's a piece of cake. Work your magic. Girl got skills. Hmm.